Good day everyone, welcome back once again. My name is Nick, we're on the Commodore Amiga, and we're looking at a game called Rescue 2, which is the sequel to Rescue, funnily enough, um, published by Intersoft in 1994. This one's been written by Harold Muller, who also did the original Rescue from 1992, which basically as it was, it was it was okay, a bit like Choplifter and uh, Apache. Um, and he also did Alien Hunter in 1993. This one is more inertia from the screenshots I can see, and it was released, I believe, for 999 which seems a bit expensive. Anyway, we'll see how this one plays. So here we go. Now, I think I need to navigate around the map, pick up keys, obviously a red key to get through that red thing, and shoot all the emplacements as well. Now, in the bottom, you see the score, and also on the left, in yellow, you see fuel, I think, going down as soon as we go up. Ship looks a bit basic here. That perhaps could have been a little bit better. F probably stands for fuel, so you probably reload there. So we need to navigate. So it looks very, very basic indeed. At the moment, I can't see why it's worth £9.99. But anyway, we we really these games on the first or second um, go to see was there been enough there uh, as a newbie to want to play it again. Now, I hope this thing is addictive because I sent off for this game at 9 99 I would have been a bit disappointed. It looks a bit bland at the moment graphically. Uh, the original game, Rescue, was was okay it's quite cool but it seems a little bit better than this one um ship could have been as i say a little bit better it feels um uh, a little bit eight bit at the moment but anyway let's go up here right few gray bits to shoot and i got kaboomed again now if you had this game back in the day let me know it's quite true that the games you played over and over back in the day we didn't have that many because we're limited on pocket money you have a, a, a great love of um, there override anything else. Nostalgia is a strong force, which we know, and that's why people pay lots and lots of money for original games in their boxes on eBay and vice versa. Right, I'm floating around. Uh, it's not too bad to control. I think you can get the hang of it. I reviewed a few games like this before in the past. Uh, this is up there with those. There's a red key there, so we need to shoot through and get that somehow. Come on, let's kaboom this thing. Let's get it kaboom. Now, if you're liking the channel and this sort of like crazy commentary, if that's what it can be called, uh, then please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And a huge thank you to all the people that have subscribed so far. Oh, I've blown up the key. That can't be bad. Uh, can't be good, I mean. Uh, yeah, huge thanks to the people that have subscribed so far. Hopefully we can get the numbers up and the up and the up and the up as we try and review everything ever, but not the rude stuff, because we try and keep this at a PG level. Like, there's a bloke up there waving, so obviously we need to rescue him by getting a blue key to go through there. And he won't be rescued this time round, because I've, I've blown up and it's game over. Yeah, I do like that font. Game over, that's pretty cool. I would have I would have paid a top coinage for a font like that for Deluxe Paint 2 or 3 back in the day, and that one as well. Maybe they have maybe they have got that for Deluxe Paint a package that they sent off in public domain, which you did in the days they was in like magazines i sent off for a few myself but of bits and bobs will i get off level one well i'm not 100 percent confident uh, what does that blue blue yellow and green light mean in the display below i do not know i cannot tell you all i know is it's on level one if you have completed this let me know and put your tips uh, below as well uh, i'm not sure what ratings this would have got it was a commercial release uh, back in the day i don't think they would have been very kind to the thing but as i say it's one guy working on his own and perhaps um Rather than a commercial release, perhaps it should have been released uh, as a public domain game. But anyway, I hope he made a lot of money. If you had this as an odd thing on a cover disc, along with lots of other stuff, then it would have been acceptable. As a game on its own, uh, not great. Um, Rescue 1 is better. I would, I would have hoped it got a nice helicopter that with helicopter sounds. I would have preferred that he would have built off that rather than sort of like re engineering this. But. Um, Possibly influenced by other stuff. Let's try and shoot this thing. The placements aren't too difficult to shoot. I just can't work out how to get the key without, well, without getting killed. But the same, probably something fundamental I'm not getting. Now, I haven't got the instructions of this game, but uh, I tend to scoot over the instructions anyway, like I would have done as a kid, to try and represent my experience of it back in the day. And this is pretty much what it would have been like. Uh, I might have played it when I got a bit bored, but I don't think I would have played it a lot of times. So I would, wouldn't have got past, I don't think, level, what did they say, look. I don't think I would have got past level one anyway. I don't know blowing the uh, the thing up means that the, the red door is destroyed anyway. But, you know, we'll try and see a bit more of the map. That yellow thing's not going to cause too much problem. And that's the top of the thing. So it's a fairly small play area on level one at least. Uh, oh, biff. Right, so, so the idea is, I think, do something with the red key. Use that to get through that red bar there, uh, and then um, find a blue key, get back up the top, 
and win. It should be more straightforward than this. I would have liked maybe a few hints and tips on the screen, at least in level one, to guide you through. Uh, looks like you've got three lives each time. So it's okay as someone's project, but as an actual game, no. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of this one. Um, Rescue 1, 1992. This one, 1994. So two years later, but uh, yeah, I would like to have the, the helicopter. So have a look at Rescue 1 if you haven't already that we reviewed. Uh, you compare it with Team 17's um, Apache, which has a, a, a much bigger budget and a team working behind that. So it's like a, a basic, very, very basic version of that. Uh, this ship... Uh, reminiscent of the uh, the ship you had in the original Asteroids games uh, from Atari back in the late 70s. Uh, got converted to many systems. Uh, the best conversion I've seen is Cabaret Asteroids on the Commodore Amiga, which we've also reviewed, so check that one out. I'm not sure that was public domain or released, but I don't think it would have cost 9.99. So Cabaret Asteroids or this, no contest really, go for Cabaret Asteroids. But I suppose if you got a bit of a distance on it, knew how to collect that key, uh, as you hover and destroy that, it, uh, it'd be okay. I mean, the fuel seems to be quite generous. There might be an extra button I should be pushing to pick up the uh, the key, or it might be like thrust, where I need to hover over the top and just drag it to the door, maybe. Perhaps that's what it is. Maybe we need to hover over the top and drag the thing. I might try and give that a go. If I can hover over and it does something clever. Uh, but I'm not getting anywhere fast with this one, am I? Hooray! Now, if you're liking your if you're liking your Commodore Amiga stuff, uh, they're not all as dull as this game. Um, check out the well, some are. Check out the playlist like hovering, hovering, hovering. Let's do a bit of hovering. No, see, I don't know what I'm doing there. What a surprise! No, if you like, yeah, click on my username to get to the Commodore Amiga playlist. Click on the playlist tab and it'll be there along with a lover, a load of other systems as well. We've reviewed quite a few games. Uh, not expert gameplay, dodgy gameplay, nonsense chat, but overriding is stress busting. So if you're having a bad time at the moment and for some reason watch this far into the video, it's all about a departure from everyday life. And for the duration of this video or how long you're on the channel watching various bits and pieces, it's just you and me having a bit of a laugh. So comment below if you want to talk to me. I generally do answer a lot of the, uh, the, the comments unless I don't understand them. Ah, but uh, you know, I try to do what I can. I'm a busy man and you're busy as well. But anyway, let's forget about that and just play this this game, which isn't isn't particularly very good. We we aim the videos to be about uh, 10 minutes long, uh, unless it annoys me, ah, or I get too excited and it goes on forever. Right, right. Now, quite clearly, uh, I don't know what to do with this red key. I, I've, I've shot it. And I've also tried to hover on it, and that hasn't worked either. It's probably a special button. If you know, comment below. It's probably quite straightforward. I'll probably have to shoot that, uh, maybe that device below, and the key just glows or something. But uh, yes, it's not very intuitive, really. Um, it should be, for a game as basic as this, it should be quite obvious uh, what to do. And the level one should be easy to try and grip you in. So you go in there and think, oh yeah, this game's okay, and it drags you in. A bit like games like, quite basic, like Chip's Challenge, which is a commercial release. Not quite like this, but it was a puzzle game. Uh, graphics not too dissimilar in... Um, well, advancement, let's say, um, there, but it, it drag you in because you got through a few levels. I've blown up the key again. Now, maybe that means the red door is gone. Let's at least check it out. Hopefully, if that red bar force field thing is gone, I can zip through and I'll be a very happy bunny. If you are a very happy bunny, comment below that the thing's still there. What about if I bump into it? Am I now going to be able to go through? We can, but hope. Oh, fingers crossed, not eyes crossed, especially if you're flying an aircraft. Right, is it going to get it? it? No, that's a bit predictable, isn't it? The best bit about this game is the explosion there and the title music at the start. It's up there with tracks from Super Twin Twist, which is a great, great game. Um, so the best bit is, is, is the, the music at the start and the explosion. That's about it. We're firing full stops about the place. A bit like asteroids. Kaboom. There's those those the placements are shooting at each other, you can notice, but not destroying each other. They're not too much of a problem. I think later levels there might be a lot more stuff. So you can, yes, inertia up to accelerate down to try and um, re reverse thrust or try and slow your descent down. Uh, shoot the grey blocks, it looks like something from that Minesweeper game without the numbers in there, uh, and then uh, die by crashing into the red key. And that seems to be the level that they're good to. Most people, well, we, well, we know what they're doing, uh, would have got past level 1 and 2 by now. I presume the graphics change from level to level. Not quite sure how many stages there are, but if, if you can get a bit of distance on it, I suppose it might be addictive for a little while, but I don't think it's going to hold your attention for most of the time. And I think the majority of people wouldn't have got past this stage and would have lost interest quite quickly. 
yeah, it was not, not too much to entice you to go forward. But one man walking in his own, Harold Muller, was in public domain for a pound or two pounds or cover this, yet great for 9 99 not great at all. Yeah, anyway, if I, don't get me wrong, if I'd produced this, I would have thought it was brilliant because, um, you know, my skills weren't particularly good, but, uh, you know, up there competing. Uh, with the cars on the front of the grid, uh, this one is is struggling to qualify. But less lesser budget, nine ninety nine, too much. If indeed that is true, I got that off the internet, and the internet isn't always correct. I try and get a number of sources if I can do, but uh, there's only one source saying the amount that I can see anyway. Right, red key, it's like attic attack, but not attic attack. See, attic attack is much better than this game, but. It's, that's a poor comparison. There wasn't a Rescue Free, as far as I'm aware. There's probably quite a lot of games called Rescue on various systems over the years. It's quite an obvious name to pick. And you're rescuing something. Right, I've blown up all those blocks. Now, before I, I'm shooting that thing, that's not releasing the red key. That's not blowing up the red key. Oh, I don't know. Maybe if I get close, it'll just do something. Do something, red key. Press spacebar. No, that's not doing anything. Um. Yes, I've, I've, I've. See, look, I've reached an, I've reached an impasse. I'm not going to get any further than particular that, am I? I'm just going round in circles like a thing going round in circles, a whirling dervish. Biff, 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 biff. Uh, yes. I'm trying to think of the other game I reviewed a bit like this. You, you'll probably put it in the comment section below. I think there was two back to back to back, really. They, they, were, they were a bit more exciting than this one. The level design was a little bit better. Uh, wasn't collecting keys or anything like that. And they've been hit by a very small moving laser. And I won't, won't play that again. Well, you got the gist of it. It was okay, but not brilliant for a commercial release. I think that's fair, we could say. And the original Rescue was a, a lot, lot more entertaining. So, hope you like having a look at that one. That was Rescue 2 on the Commodore Amiga, published by Intersoft in 1994, written by Harold Muller. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro? Then, by all means, slap that in the comment section below. Until next time, as always, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye.